guys, welcome back to another Adam Ventures video. Again, I'm in the city of Bangdun, and today we're gonna try all the street food. We're gonna try a ton of food from Bangdun. Uh, I'm with my good friend Danny here, who I uh, just met at the hostel yesterday. <laughs> He's a good guy from Jakarta. And uh, yeah, we just got to the town square, so we're gonna check out all of the street food right here. Uh, there is a big mosque to the right of us here, the main mosque in the town. And so it's super busy right now, this park, it's a Sunday, it, this park is really busy right now. The town square has a ton going on. Let's uh, let's go try some street food because I am starving. Are they saying me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're calling me? Yeah, they, they call you. They call oh yeah. Hello. Big market. Yeah. Lots of clothing in here. Uh, good price on underwear, it looks like. Hello! <laughs> good price, good price on everything. Dresses, underwear, clothing. Cool shop, but I gotta find some food, I'm starving. We didn't find any food that originates from Bandung on that street, so the search continues. Xiao Mai? Yeah, let's try it. I'll try a Xiao Mai. Ba Batagor is good too. Oh, I think Batagor, yeah. Okay, One Eschampor. Please. Oh. This is a drink. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it's for drink, but for you, I think it's dessert. Yeah, Eschampor looks like a dessert to me. It's too much, maybe, for you. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks really good. Oh. All right, guys, so I just ordered the Batagor and es champur and uh, my friend Danny was saying that this is a drink for like locals but for me this looks like a dessert this does not really look like a drink how is this a drink that's crazy wow all right let's dive into the food here get the sauce oh that's really good it's like a peanut sauce kind of like saute sauce a lot of tofu on here oh my gosh this is really good oh my god Got some like deep fried wonton type things in here. It's kind of spicy too. It's pretty spicy, but we're in Bandung now, so it's not teramakasi for thank you. It is hatur nuhun. Yeah. Hatur nuhun. Very difficult. Very difficult. But uh, yeah, every region of Indonesia has a different language, so it's uh, it's very hard to keep up. Very hard to keep up. This is a really good dish. So it's very savory. It's um, it, there's really those strong peanut sauce taste in there. It's also pretty spicy. Um, but very, very savory. Very, very savory. There's a lot of oils in there too, so it really brings out the savoriness of it and of the flavor and everything. It's really, really good. So this meal is called Batagor, and uh, there's another meal called Xiao Mai. Xiao Mai. Yeah, okay, I did say that right. <laughs> it's, so, it's so similar to Xiaomi, which is like the uh, uh, Chinese smartphone brand, but uh, yeah, so I keep getting like confused. But uh, Xiao Mai is very similar, but it's not deep fried, it's steamed. So this is the, uh, the slightly less healthy uh, variety that I chose to have for my breakfast this morning. Yeah. So my friend Danny was saying that this is a drink here in Indonesia. That was really good, very sweet, very milky. And then there's all this stuff in it. There's like coconut, it looks like, jello balls and ice. Okay, I can maybe see why it's a drink now, because once the ice melts, and it melts pretty quick, then it's kind of a drink, but it's really sweet with lots of chunks and stuff in there. I would still put it under the dessert section on a menu, but I see why it's a drink. So inside the Eschampur is uh, this stuff right here, which is called Dima Suri, which is like a type of cucumber, I guess. And it's like sugary, it's sweet. And I guess we'll count it as a vegetable, so it's healthy too. All right, so breakfast, so the food and the drink all together was 35,000 IDR. That's like $2.40. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty full from that. I thought it's jamu? Yeah, jamu and jamu. Wow. Guava? 5,000 if you only buy one. Okay. Yeah. I'll just buy one. Probably a good idea to rinse it off first. All right, let's see how this thing tastes. It is uh, jamu? Jamu. Jamu. It's a little bitter. It's not as sweet as I thought it would maybe be. Like, I've had this before in drinks. And um, maybe, I think it might, might just be the peel that's really sour. Mmm. Oh yeah. The fruit, the inside of it, is way better, way sweeter. The outside is pretty, pretty bitter. 
I do not advise eating this one as an apple like I am because the uh, the seeds are really hard and you can't really quite crunch through them, so it's uh, definitely better juiced. Little observation I've made is that uh, whenever I put my hair down, I frequently get asked if uh, people can take a photo with me. When it's up, not so much, but when I put my hair down, everyone wants a photo with me. <laughs> All right, so now we're back at the town square checking this area out. Um, there are a lot of people out and about right now. Things for sale, little airplanes and balls and stuff like that. Very cool. This looks like just kind of the place to hang out. This is great. So we just came to Bandung Lautan Api Monument. Yeah, what he said. So we just came here because uh, I really want to fly my drone and this is the closest part to like, a, a lot of the city is actually too close to the airport to be able to fly a drone. But this park, I can. And um, it's just far enough away from the airport. And it's busy, there's a lot going on here. All right, I guess it costs 2,000 rupiah to get into this park. A lot of stuff for sale. There's like underwear for sale there. Food here, sunglasses, glasses, a lot of clothing. Oh, and a really big soccer field right here. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, no, thank you. I do not need a gun. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. <laughs> and guns, I guess, huh? Interesting. This is Xiao Mai. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier. This is Xiao Mai, which is basically the same thing as Batagur, what I had earlier, except this is cooked with steam, where what I had is uh, cooked by paint. <laughs> that's good, that's really good. Oh, I just found something really cool. Come check this out, guys. Whoa. Okay, so you pedal the bike, and then, oh, you can change the gears so the bike goes forward, or these go around. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. I like it. I love it, all these little kids are racing around on tiny little, uh, <laughs> tiny little motorbikes right here. Oh, that looks like so much fun. And if the kid's really little, then the dad drives him around in one of these things. That's actually a remote control car that he's driving his kid around in. <laughs> Here you go. Hatur Nuhun. Oh man, that was great to fly my drone. So now for our next meal. This is lunch now. Uh, we are at the Pascal Food Market. There are a whole bunch of places to eat here. It's pretty dead right now. I think we came here a little late. I think it was probably, it, this is a bit afternoon. So I was probably busy like maybe an hour ago. Very beautiful here though. This place is gorgeous. All right, I have three coins. Three chances at having a lucky life. Let's go. Oh. Ah. One for three, but I guess I'm still gonna have a, a, a luck-filled life, so that's nice. All right, let's go eat some food. Hello. Hello. This place is ginormous. There's two whole areas that are this big right here. There's this entire area that's like this, all lined with shops, and then the same thing over there. Different shops, so you have a lot of places to pick from here. I will do the uh, the Soto Bandung. With rice? Yes, please. The Soto Bandung has arrived. It is steaming hot. Let's give it a try. Very good broth. One thing I really like about the way this meal was served is you can add some heat, you can add some citrus, you can add some salt. You can make it exactly the way you want. And this is the saute. This looks really good. I'm almost wishing I would've gotten that. All right, gonna try the saute. That's really good saute. Wow. Oh man, saute is just so good. It's so savory. The sauce is really sweet on there. Mmm. That is really good. All right, we have one more thing to try for lunch. Bala ubi, which translates to sweet potato ball. Let's give it a try. That is absolutely delicious. It's like a pocket of cake, a ball of cake. Like the cake's on the outside, air on the middle. It makes for like a really interesting texture. It's really, really good. I'd say it's like a funnel cake that you'd have at the fair. Bolo ubi, bolo ubi, you definitely have to have this one. Oh my gosh, this is really, really good. All right, had a nice little rest at my hostel. Check this place out, it's pretty nice. Uh, got pretty big beds here, actually. These are like bigger than twin beds. But now it's time for some dinner. I am absolutely starving. Let's go grab some food. Hello. I will have a satay. Satay. Satay, yeah. 
Danny got the saute earlier and it was so good I had to get it. And uh, it turns out they actually have saute with rabbit. I tried to get it, but they're sold out actually, unfortunately. So I got the uh, saute with cow. But uh, we're gonna keep looking because I could eat a lot more than just one thing right now. I just ordered some rujek, which is Indonesian salad. Spicy, not spicy? Medium, medium, okay. yeah. This place, we, we decided to come back to this area because it's very hygienic. The food is very good. It's very aesthetically pleasing. And it's really, really close to our hostel. So yeah, the way this kind of works is you go to any one of these stands and uh, you place your order. They give you a little piece of paper and a number. You pay. And then once you pay, then when your food is ready, people will bring uh, the food to you. So it's very like, it's very like professionally done. This whole area is like very, very nice actually. This is probably like the most, like one of the more hygienic places to like eat Indonesian food in Bandung. What is this one? Sarabi. Sarabi? Yeah, Sarabi. This is a uh, traditional Bandung food. Oh, very cool. And this is a dessert? Yeah, dessert. Ah. Exciting times, guys. The, uh, the Indonesian salad has arrived. All right, let's see how spicy it is. I asked for it to be medium spicy because uh, I guess normally it's like really, really spicy. That is um, that is really, really good. Wow, oh man. Yeah, that's really hot. The sauce really reminds me actually of the uh, papaya salads in Thailand. It's very, very similar, except this is with fruit instead of papaya. Oh, that looks really good. This is surabi, this uh -huh. one surabi, and this one tahu gejrot. Oh. Uh, so this one's the dessert. Yeah, this is originally from Bandung, mm -hmm. and this is originally from Cirebon. Oh, Cirebon. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. The sauce on this fruit salad is actually like really sweet, and Danny was just telling me that's because it actually has brown sugar in it, and uh, it is just so good, so so good. Mmm. My saute has arrived with the nasi, the rice. And you have the, um, what is this one called again? Tahu gajrot. Tahu gajrot. Yeah. And I tried a little bit of it. And not gonna lie, it's not quite what I was expecting. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but. Mmm. Oh, that bite's a little different than the last one. The last bite almost tasted like a little bit of fish sauciness. It was kind of like, I don't know, a crazy, crazy taste. If any of you with a Western palate is coming here, I recommend you definitely try the uh, the Indonesian salad. And uh, you might not like this one. <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing here, right? I'm, I'm mixing and matching my food. I'm putting my rice into my Indonesian salad. And he's over here. What, what are you thinking about all of that? Yeah, you look so weird with... Uh, you eat satay with rujak, I think it looks so weird. For not normal, not normal for Indonesians. But it does taste good together. <laughs> it tastes really good together. <laughs> so normally, satay on the street from like a street vendor with rice would be like twenty thousand rupiah. Here it's what was this? Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. But this is the best satay I've ever had. I had a lot of satay, and this is the best. Like. I'm a fan of a good deal more than most people, but uh, in this instance, I would always opt to get this better saute than the, uh, the cheaper stuff on the street. All right, guys, that was an absolutely amazing, delicious, filling meal. Now it is time for the cherry on top. Now it is time for the dessert. We are going with some sarabi. All right, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Really? Yeah, it tastes a little bit like durian, doesn't it? Is yeah, there dur yeah, there's yeah. durian in yeah, there? There is durian inside. Oh my gosh, there's durian inside. It's kind of like a thick pancake that's porous. Tastes like durian, it's sweet, it's like milky. It's, uh, there's some like chocolate sauce on top. Is that chocolate sauce? Oh, brown sugar. Oh, that's brown sugar sauce on top. Oh my gosh. And you just dip it into the milk. Oh, and get it so saturated, just like a wet cookie. <laughs> I don't know how you guys eat your cookies, but I dip mine for a long time, just as this has been sitting for a long time, and it is perfect right now. Oh my gosh. I think it looks like pancake. 
This is like my favorite dessert I've had in really? Indonesia. This is really, really good, yeah. Really? All right guys, that was an absolutely amazing day of eating in Bangdun. I highly recommend you guys come to this place, the Pascal Food Market. This was probably my uh, favorite place to eat in Bangdun. The food is just very, very delicious. It's very hygienic. It's probably the place that most of you watching this, if you're not from Indonesia, are gonna wanna come to, even if you are from Indonesia. Like this is just like, honestly, probably the best place to eat and try all of the local cuisines in Bangdun. So I highly recommend you guys check this out uh, when you are in Bangdun. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace.